Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. At the backdrop, I have my TNT 600i, and uh, I'm having issues of battery with it. So today I'm going to check, you know, if the battery is completely drained, dead, or what. I don't think so. It's dead because uh, the fuel pump did fire up, and uh, the telltale lights are working. But let me see if the self start is working. If not, uh, I'll have to pick up a new battery soon. So I'll tell you which battery am I picking, what's the cost and all, what warranty I'm getting, uh, and uh, what is the process of procuring it like under exchange, yes or no, etc. So not wasting much time, let's proceed ahead. Uh, we'll just request you to subscribe to my channel if you're new on my channel, and uh, do hit the bell icon for all updates from me. So let's try and hit the shelf. It's been idle for like almost uh, three weeks now. I was traveling to Kutch in my car. You can see the condition there. I have to get a good wash to the car too. It's really, really dirty. So trying the shelf here. No, it's completely dead. So never mind. I'll take the battery out and uh, get it checked from a battery guy. Now to access the TNT 600i battery, you need to remove the rear seat and the rider seat. The battery lies approximately here in a sloping condition. I mean, it's. I'll show you how it is. Once you've removed the rear seat, you need to pull this one out. Okay. Uh, now my seat has gone. The the cable has gone real hard because it's 4.5 years old. So it stays in its place, and I can pull the seat simultaneously. No, I'll have to do it with two hands, it seems. Okay, it's out. And there's the battery. Okay, it's inside here. You need to slide it out. Uh, all the stuff needs to be removed. All the these points need to be removed. Guys, uh, sorry, I could not, you know, take a vlog for uh, a video clips for how to remove this whole stuff. Uh, it was a bit complicated, and I got frustrated while removing it because I was doing it for the first time, and a lot best bit of patience. So uh, what I'll do is, uh, while I'm installing the new battery, I've already got a new battery. It's a SF Sonic uh, MK1440 TZ9. So the old battery was uh, 8 amperes and nowadays you don't get 8 amperes battery it seems. So this is what I got. Uh, it has got uh, 48 months warranty. So warranty as well as guarantee. And the MRP of the battery is like uh, 2168. Uh, but I got it at a discount in 1800 that's the usual market rate I leave a number uh, for those who want to purchase SF in Pune so uh, this is through a friend whom I purchased at a discount you can mention that you got a uh, got the number from me and you can visit them so here's the battery it gets all the bolts and all necessary bolts and all to mount it's uh, very identical to the old battery except for the color is blue so uh, in a while I'll show you, you know uh, the clip how to slide in the battery and how to install everything back and you can follow the reversal process to remove the battery. You also get this warranty card and all with the battery. Now since I'm going to be selling the bike everything's going to go to the dealer uh, to, sorry to the new owner who's going to purchase the bike. I've got a few people who've quoted uh, very nice amounts decent amounts what I wanted. Uh, not very decent but okay enough for me to let go the bike so i'll be taking it for the wa uh, quick wash to today at service and my service is also due so i just called the benelli guys and asked them if i can come down today uh, being a saturday usually they have a lot of rush and pre appointments so i'm not sure if i'm going to get a chance or not uh, if the bike doesn't get a service today i'll get, at least get it washed today because uh, uh, from the last service i've hardly used it for uh, two three hundred kilometers but that too, you know, I had to pass through rains and uh, all this got dirty again. And I don't like to keep my bike like this, uh, especially the Benelli. So I'll get at least a wash done. Uh, 
so that when the people come to see the bike looks uh, decent enough i mean good enough uh, for them not to you know have any doubts like why is the bike dirty and all etc etc so let's continue in some time for uh, the installation process so you need to take off the uh, bolts and all for now and battery you need to it's going to be very difficult to slide in because uh, there are a lot of wires over here that obstruct the battery from coming out or uh, going in very tight space out here so it's going to be a bit of struggle uh, if you are not doing this at home it's uh, good enough because you won't end up doing anything wrong okay so you push it down and then you slide in okay forgot one thing i need to correct this cushion let me show you the cushion so this cushion got uh, no i forgot that i need to straighten this out okay this is good enough i forgot to remove the dirt also from inside let me clean this up and then i'll continue so i've cleaned the chamber and i'm going to try and slide the battery now inside sorry for the crackers noise my brother's son is having some fun with some small hand crackers oh uh, this is really really tight position so if you if you have never done diys at home uh, skip it skip doing this at home uh, because this is going to be one difficult task this i know these wirings don't come out anywhere uh So <sighs> looks like the battery is slightly bigger than the previous one. Or I'm not able to do it. just a little bit left and it's gone there you are so you have to slide the battery in this way in such a way that the terminals are at the top okay so with which you can tighten these properly so now we're going to install this bracket first now this bracket has got rubber cushioning at the back side uh, soft cushioning which is going to hold the battery in its place and not allow it to you know bounce around and all so this is how it goes inside okay and uh, there are two bolts to fix this so this is one here and uh, it's is the other one install the bolts first and then we'll install the rest of the wiring and cutouts we'll put it in the place uh, be careful that these don't end up somewhere inside we'll see we'll need have to remove the complete battery and work again oh god why am i being so flimsy today i don't know maybe i'm making a vlog after very long yeah it's been very long that i've posted uh, much videos on the on my channel it's more than 2 weeks Like I've been traveling a lot. Uh, I was at my native place for more than for more than uh, two weeks or so. I was enjoying Kutch. Okay, this one's in its place. I used the wrong tool. 
you require uh, 4mm spanner for it, 4mm uh, Allen key for it. Make sure it is tight enough. Okay, once this is in place, uh, this one remains out. Okay, it has to be left loose. Uh, this socket is to be slid in here. While removing the socket, you need to press this clip with a screwdriver. So uh, you slide it in here. Okay, like this. Okay, it goes inside. So while removing, you need to use a screwdriver. You need to use a flat screwdriver and remove it. You know, you need to push this behind so that the lock is disengaged, and then your socket, then your uh, fuse box can come out. Yes, this is a fuse box. So if guys have not seen it so far, this is the fuse box uh, of your bike. All amperage and where all the fuse is being used is mentioned over here. Let me show it to you. So all details are over here. And there are some free uh, spare uh, fuses also, like one, one, two, and three are spare. Okay. So our fuse box is in place, and uh, let's install the cutout too. Uh, keep the battery wirings a bit away for now. So this should easily, I'm not sure how does this go inside, okay yeah, so this will uh, go in like this, here, now some of the things are excess over here, for example this one is my fog lamps and uh, uh, charging this thing, uh, mobile charger socket a mo mobile charger wire wiring harness so this is additional in my bike this will be your negative pole your positives here and let's I forgot whether this is positive or negative for me okay this is negative for me it goes in from here let me get the bolts and then install these two so this is the bolt set that you get uh, martin bolt set uh, it's already pre-greased with vaseline or something uh, you need to slide this inside over here okay and then the bolt would go on from here okay so i'm going to clean my hands and put the positive one first I forgot which needs to go first but anyways I'm going to put the positive first for now okay and gently tighten it never over tighten the battery bolts never do that because uh, the terminals are quite soft and the terminals are usually very 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 soft and they might you might end up uh, uh, damaging the terminals now this is going to require some amount of Vaseline I'll put that too you get battery sprays too so if I go to service uh, I'll ask them to spray some battery terminal for them uh, for this uh, if I don't I'll come back and open and uh, put some Vaseline to it here goes the second bolt Now while doing this, your key should be off uh, the bike, don't put the key in the lock set. This needs some alignment. Again a reminder, do not over tighten them. 
so the battery is installed and uh, let me check if the bike pulls up herself yes just 21000 running i'll have to set the clock later on i'll do a small video on the clock too so the bike has not started for almost 4 uh, weeks now let's see how much more self does it take that is 2 3 four so the bike has fired finally now this is the reason why you know experts say don't open the bikes at home if you're not aware about it especially super bikes so there are three earthing wires uh, that go to the negative pole but uh, i'd missed one uh, one went inside the battery while pushing the battery inside so that is the reason the fuel pump was not firing and because of that the engine was not firing but after i put the uh, wire and i gave first self and the bike was running so yes it's running all fine now and that's the sweet noise i probably will miss it so just warming it up it's on since almost 5 minutes now i don't uh, rev the engine unless you know the engine is warmed up really nice and very rarely do i rev like this this was just to show you guys that the engine is working perfectly fine and in one of the previous videos where i told you know uh, i'm planning to sell the bike the person had asked me why is the smoke coming out maine udhar bhi bataya tha ki wo dew drops the tab barish hui thi abhi kuch smoke nahi hai dekh lo flash maarta hu flash mein bhi samajh pe aayega smoke hai ki nahi there's no smoke यार पानी आ रहा है ये भी जो आ रहा है वो पानी है जो ड्यू ड्रॉप्स होते हैं रिफाइंड इंजन के वो पानी है ये और ये ये इतना थोड़ा सा कार्बन होता ही है हर गाड़ी में होता है ये मेरी ब्रांड न्यू एंटॉर्क है आपको वो इसमें भी मिलेगा इधर भी मिलेगा ये कार्बन इतना होता ही है सो एंडिंग दीलॉग यर वी लॉग खत्म कर रहा हूँ यहाँ पे अगर आपको कुछ सवाल है एनी क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग दिस इंस्टॉलेशन और दी सेटअप दैट आई डेड राइट नाउ Please put it in the comments and I'll try to answer them at the earliest. Please don't forget to subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the bell icon and uh, follow all my updates uh, here on. Thanks for watching. This is Dipen from Pune and that's my Optimus Prime. tiempo más No quiero perder lo que queda Seguimos siempre la pasión y confiamos solo en el amor Yeah No quiero perder lo que